Now, for vocoding, if you're not familiar with the process, the best way to achieve really good sounding, sort of classic 70s vocoded sounds, is to have a nice, bright, grassy, or tinny, or, you know, harmonically rich file. Particularly because I have a very low voice on those clips, we really want the consonant sounds to come through. So you're going to highlight across these two clips. And then the first thing we need to do is actually render these two clips together. So select them by holding down the control key. You can see the color changes. And if we just solo this real quickly and play these back again, they're very low. Adobe Audition 1.5. I think they need a little brightness because probably those consonants won't come through as nicely if I don't add just a little EQ. So let's go up to the track EQ here. Let's bring up the track EQ window. Let's just loop play this back. And I think right off the bat, I can tell I need a little boost at around maybe 3,500 hertz and 8K. So let's give it a shot. Adobe Audition 1.5. Realize your musical vision, 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 vision. Adobe Audition 1.5. Realize your musical vision, 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 vision. Adobe Audition. Okay, so you can tell that now it's nice and bright, very clear. And again, even though slightly over accentuated, this is going to work to our benefit when we're actually vocoding these files. Because we're going to render them together, it will render with the EQ. Okay, so we've got them selected. Right click in this available space here and choose Mix Down to Track, Bounce, Selected Audio Clips, Mono, and there we go. We've got a mix down. If we solo that track now, Adobe Audition 1.5, realize your musical vision, vision. Very good. Okay. So now what we're basically going to do is let's just move these clips out of the way. So they're both selected now. Go back to the Move tool. Just move them together off to the side. And if we want, we can right click on this mix down, lock it in time to make sure that we don't slip it at all. And while we're still with the move tool, just move it up to that track. Okay, let's unmute track nine. And now, once again, we've already got our mix down highlighted. Hold down the control key again. Now the chamber string and the mix down are highlighted together, both selected. Now we can go up to the effects menu and vocode them. So take your cursor and go up to the top. And when you pull down the effects menu, you'll notice that we actually have a couple specific effects for the multitrack only, one of them being the vocoder. So go into the vocoder, and inside this window, we have a couple things that we need to set. Okay, the first one is the control wave, and this is typically the voice, in this case, the mixdown file, and you can see it already knows that. The second is the process wave, in this case, the synth. This is what's basically going to provide us with that vocoded sound. All right, and then it has an output too, and in this case, it's going to automatically put this vocoded track into track nine. And then we've got all these other settings here, FFT size, overlays, resynthesis window, amplification, crossover, etc. But most importantly, presets. So again, we've got some specific to different types of voices, female voice, male voice, general purpose, etc. I'm going to go ahead and choose the male voice preset. And then typically what I do is add more overlays. The more overlays you have, typically the more thick that vocoded sound is going to be. And if you think again of like classic sort of Wendy Carlos, 1970s, or I think of other popular vocoded sounds, but trust me, you want to increase the overlays. And then for resynthesis window, well, wide, I typically like to use a more narrow resynthesis window. Again, that tends to help preserve consonant sounds. So slightly narrow, more overlays. We can leave the FFT as it is. And then for amplification, I usually attenuate slightly because sometimes when you're vocoding the two signals together, you can sort of distort. So it's currently set to minus three. That should be OK. Click OK. It'll vocode the file. And if we solo track nine, we should have a nice vocoded voice. I have to say, that's a fantastic vocoding job. Very, very nice. 